Woo. All right, guys, it is Thursday, and a surprise I've got for you is that we're doing a um, Jessica Beale inspired yoga workout. And this is going to be a little different than yesterday's yoga, which was more relaxing stretching. This one's going to be a little bit more like power or fitness yoga, whatever that means. So here we go. Let's get into it. We're going to start with our sun salutation. We'll go wide. We'll sweep it back and up. Big stretch and exhale. Bring it down. And halfway lift. Ooh, back cracks and exhale to the floor. And we'll step one leg back, drop the hips down. So this is a very experimental style of workout today, of yoga workout. So uh, we'll just we'll just see what happens and let me know how you guys feel. You guys see right in the comments. Let me know if you dug it or if it was a total flop. All right, and we'll press back into downward dog. And we'll shift our weight left and right. Total flop. <laughs> this workout was awful. And lean forward into plank. Step the other foot up. I don't see how it could possibly be bad for us, though. T-Swift playlist. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> Al said he was T-Swifted out, but that's all the music we had downloaded. <laughs> all right, and step your feet under you. Hands to the floor, halfway lift, exhale, and grab your elbows. We're going into rag doll. What does rag doll bring to mind for you, Hell? Voodoo. Voodoo. Voodoo doll, okay. I think of eating it on a wave while surfing, yeah. And get stuck in the washing machine or ragdolled. Yeah. And we'll go hands on your shins, lift your chest up. Go sweep the arms back and up and come up on your tippy toes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll bring it down to the floor. Let's go one more time through. Halfway lift. Exhale. And send one leg back. And drop your, your hippie, <laughs> hippies. Your hips to the floor. Move the hips around. Oh, wait. We're doing the other one. We're going hands up. Push the hips forward and down. And we're going to lean out to the side. And we'll pull back into extension. And side. And just keep alternating between these two positions. <laughs> what, Al? <else? laughs> you have something you want to say back there? <laughs> And we'll go hands down. Press back into downward dog. And rise up on your toes. Rise up and press your heels down. And rise up on your toes. And press them down. And we'll step the other foot up. Raise your hands up overhead as so you push your hips forward and down. And we'll go lean out to the side. And pull back into extension. And knock out a few reps here. We'll cycle them at your own pace. Let's do one more. And step your feet under you. Hands to the floor. Halfway lift. And forward fold. And sweep your arms back and up. And you guys ready for this? We're going to step the feet together. And we're going to do moon salutation. So we'll go bring the arms straight up. Bring them together and reach up nice and high. Come up onto your tippy toes. And bring it on down to the floor. And grasp your hands together however you like. And we'll lean out to the side. And we'll inhale, come up upright. And exhale to the other side. And we'll come upright, and we're going to take a wide step out to the side, and we're going to sink and do a sumo squat and pull your arms into cactus pose. <laughs> sink into your cactus squat, 
and then we'll come on up and we'll turn our, our right toes out and we're going to reach for it. <laughs> oh wait, I almost messed it up. We're gonna open up our left hand to the sky. Right hand comes to the inside of this front foot. So both legs are straight, left hand reaching straight up. And now we're gonna bring both hands down and we'll get this calf hamstring stretch. You can align both feet in the same direction here. And now we'll go knee down. Bring your hands straight up and we'll go hips forward and down. Get this hip flexor again. And now place your hands down. We're gonna turn the left toes up as we sink into our Kazakh squat. So try to get this heel down if you can. Get this stretch in the inner thigh, the adductor right here. And we're gonna slide up and over to the other side. We're getting Kazakh on the other side. And we'll turn it down into essentially a Spider-Man lunge. We're gonna take our hands up. We'll push the hips forward and down. Hip flexor stretch. And now you place your hands down and we'll straighten both legs here into triangle stretch. All right, you can adjust your stance if you like. From here, we're gonna take our right hand and reach it up as we turn our right foot out. 90 degrees, so we're here. And then we're gonna drop into cactus. And we'll bring our feet together on the other side. Hands straight up overhead. We'll come up onto the toes as you reach up, woo! And then settle down and we'll lean out to the side. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, other side. I guess we're standing the whole time. And inhale, up to vertical, there we go. Get my cues right. And we'll take our wide step out to the side. Cactus squat. So pull your shoulder blades together. Palms facing forward, but pulling back. And then we'll stand on up. We'll straighten both legs. We're gonna lean to the left side this time. So straighten that leg. We'll tick-tock our way down. Ooh, how about that? So you wanna be holding your weight right here. These abs or these obliques are still active. Fingertips hovering just off the floor. And now we'll align our feet in the same direction. Go hands down, calf stretch. And we'll drop that back knee down as you raise your hands up overhead. This is the jam right here. And we'll bring our hands down as we open up to our lateral lunge or our Kazakh squat. Ooh, this one feels money. And we'll come on up and over to the other side. Kazakh. Ooh, it's really opening up the hips. And now we'll come on up. We'll strain both legs as we, oh wait, no we're not. <laughs> we're gonna drop into our lunge. <laughs> and we'll send the arms up. I'm still getting used to this moon, moon salutation. And now I'll place the hands down. Now we'll strain both legs. Feet oriented in the same direction here. All right, now we'll turn our back foot, our left foot. Open 90 degrees, and we'll raise our left arm up to the sky. Oh, the surface is slippery. And we'll come on up. And we'll cactus it. Yeah, cactus. Pulling those shoulder blades back, arms back. And we'll step together. And we'll lean out to the side. Other side. And come up on the tippy toes and settle it down. All right, there we go. Sun and moon, something new for our stretching today. Now we're gonna jump straight into this thing. Nothing's gonna get too crazy today, guys. Take it at your own pace, follow my lead. There might be a few movements you don't know. Uh, do your best to follow my lead. And there's also a surprise. It's not gonna be a surprise anymore. A minute handstand hold or practice. So you can practice up against the wall. You can do a headstand if you want. It's just meant to be fun. That's why I threw it in there. 
We're going in 10 seconds. We're gonna do lunges for 30 seconds. All these movements we'll do for about 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and lunge it out. Get the blood pumping for now before we get into our more yoga-ish moves. I have this memory. It's hard not to sing when T-Swift is on the radio. Five more seconds here, and then we're gonna get in two sumo squats in two, one, and wide with the stance. Bring your hips way back, and driving your knees out hard to the side. Big stretch here in your adductors, those inner thighs. And at your own pace, we wanna keep that chest tall. Oh, look at this rainbow timer here. Guys, we can thank L for the new an improved timer, he programmed that. His services, oh, <laughs> and we'll do some kicks. Cost an arm and a leg though, but <laughs> just kidding. He did it for a friend. Some high kicks, yeah, get those legs, those hammies, warmed up, loosened up, yeah. Hmm. Three, two, one, and bird pecker is up next. So we're gonna reach down to the floor. One leg sends, send it back. And then we'll alternate, just the bird pecker. No lunge this time. And if you wanna go advanced, you can grab an ankle. Woo! Yeah. Try to get that balance dialed in. Woo! Three, two, one, and Frogger is next. Here's the Frogger right here. You settle into the, beyond the bottom of your squat. And you just go bloop, bloop, bloop. We'll try and go three hops back, three hops forward. And you go at whatever pace you like. This one is super good for opening up the hips. Even my ankles are getting a good stretch here. Two, one, and now let's go straight legs. We're gonna do bear crawl. So bear crawl your way forward as far as you can go. Maybe a few steps, then we'll go back. One, two, three, maybe we go four steps. And we're gonna hang out on our, on our hands and feet for a little bit here. We'll bear crawl into lion crawl. Coming up next in five seconds. Two, one, and you guys know lion? It's where your knees are hovering just off the floor. So you can keep your abs tight. So you got one, two, three, four. Ten more seconds, and then we'll get into our inchworm to push up. Two, one. So here's how I like to do this one. You walk your hands out, form a push up. You can do it with me. And then walk your hands back and just touch your toes. And then we'll go straight into our next rep. Going through all the animals. Oh yeah, we're in the we're in the animal kingdom right now. Two, one, and now drop your knees to a hover just off the floor. We're gonna do the matrix. Step through, hips up as you reach over. We're only gonna be here for 30 seconds, so I'll swing back to the other side. It'll be a little more dynamic today. Whereas in the past, it's been more of a static hold. And we got cat cows coming up next. Two, one, and cat cow. So inhale as you lift your chest up and exhale as you round. And keep moving with your own breath.
All right, we're gonna stand up after this. Three, two, one. Stand up and we'll do some, some twists. Yeah, loosen up the spine, the trunk. Yeah. Maybe you get some good cracks out of this one. Yeah. We have our windmill coming up next. In three, two, one, and windmill. Yeah. And take it at whatever speed you like. Kind of into that modified Bruce Lee sequence. We'll do some dancer side leans coming up in three, two, one, and we'll go wide. And we'll send it and wide and send it. Now see if you can reach, reach that arm over the top. Reach that side wall, the side wall of whatever log cabin you're in. And two, one, and hands together up overhead. And we're gonna do our TikToks. So lean and send it up and over to the other side. If you wanna keep these muscles tight and pull yourself back up and over. We're gonna do our forward fold into our back bend next. Two, one, and bring it down, woo, and up, and do a small one. Small back bend as we get warmed up. That's your inhale, as you lean back. Exhale as you reach down. All right, got time for one more. And shoulder rolls, let's go back. Whew. All right. Our shoulders and upper back are feeling a little tweaky after surfing today in a wetsuit for the first time in a long time. And let's go forward, rolls the shoulder, shoulders. And we'll do forward arm circles in three, two, one, and forward arm circles. See if we can get the timing on this one. And medium. And we're going big with the big circles. Send it. And reverse the direction. Tiny circles. And Medium circles. Oh, we're going big with the yoga. That's right, Al. Going big circles. And, oh, chain breakers. Sorry. Break the chains. Yeah. All right, so we're about to enter the yoga portion. Coming up next. Let's go up and down. And we'll see if we can get it. See if. This is gonna work today. It's kind of a crazy, crazy workout. There's a lot written on this board right in front of us. Two, one, and we're gonna do a uh, chaturanga vinyasa. I don't even know if that's correct. But follow my lead. We'll press back into downward dog. Inhale as you lean forward to plank. Exhale as you lower down to a hover just off the floor. Inhale as you lift up. You can turn your toes down here. And exhale as you press back into downward dog. So we'll call that our chaturanga. Inhale as you lean forward. Exhale as you lower down. So we'll go for a full minute. That was 30 seconds. Inhale, up dog, up dog. And exhale, down dog. And inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lower down to a hover. Inhale, arch up. Exhale, down dog. 
and keep going with your own breath and exhale down inhale up and press back into downward dog all right now come forward to a plank you take your right hand and your left leg and you're going to reach them out you're going to pull them together touch your elbow to knee woo and then extend and keep going so extend bring them together and you can go with your at your own pace here Woo. this balance is pretty tricky two one and other side left arm and right leg so you can breathe it so inhale as you extend exhale contract These are bird dog crunches. That's what I got on the board. Almost there. And press back into downward dog. We're gonna do a dive bomber where you dive through. Keep your elbows in your side. And exhale as you push back. So inhale as you dive forward. Exhale, push back. And you can move with your own breaths as well. So keep moving here. All right, and this next one, we're gonna step forward in this triangle pose. We're gonna reach down, stretch, and we'll lift our hands up and we'll drop into this warrior one right here, this lunge stretch. And straighten the front leg, stretch, lift up, warrior one. Inhale, stretch down. Oh, I exhale. <laughs> we'll figure it out. And let's switch to the other side. We're gonna reach down. Both legs are straight. Inhale as you reach up into this lunge position and continue. There we go, I found the breathing. You inhale as you reach up. Exhale as you stretch down. And we'll come back to this side and we're gonna do what's called humble warrior. So we're gonna bend this front knee, clasp your hands behind your back, and we're gonna drop the chest down on the inside of this knee. And we'll hold. If you can straighten your arms, great. If you can lift them up behind you, Get more of a shoulder stretch. Ow. Dang, that is impressive. Yeah. This is L's move right here. That's Two. Humble, one. <laughs> and we'll come on up and we'll switch sides. Yeah, the not so humble warrior back here. <laughs> yes, it is my move. So you can bring those hands up, drop that chest lower. Almost there. Two, one, and we're gonna do a three-legged chaturanga. So let's do this. We'll press back into downward dog. Let's go left foot straight up in the air. Now keep this foot up off the ground, and we're gonna lean forward to plank. As you inhale, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And that's where you can place it down on the ground. Both feet on the ground, there you go. We'll press back. And we'll drive the other foot straight up in the air. And we'll lean forward. We're gonna do a full minute here. So keep going. Keep that foot hovering off the floor, chaturanga. Now you can place the foot on the ground, both feet, and inhale, come on up. And we'll do other leg straight up in the air. Keep that foot hovering, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, hot dog, and We'll keep flowing, guys. Flowing with your own breath. Ooh. And we'll stand down up. Go wide with the legs. And we're gonna go bend in the front knee. Arms out to the side. We're gonna lean forward and rotate. This is our extended side angle. And then we're gonna rotate back into reverse warrior. Keep that bend in the front knee. And we'll reach forward, rotate. 
Beautiful. Inhale. And reach back. Two, one. Let's switch. We'll go bend in the front knee. Rotate. Extended side angle. Keep the bend as you rotate into reverse wire. And reach forward. Ooh, a back crack right there. And inhale as you lower down. Exhale as you rotate back. Two, one. This is gonna be cool. Let's go. Stay right here. Drop your left or this hand down, whatever is furthest from your front foot. This is gonna be our hand plant. And then we're gonna rotate here. And then we'll come on up into reverse wire. So I'll say it for whatever side we're doing. We're going left hand down, right hand up. And that means the right foot's forward or the opposite. And then we'll bring it back in reverse wire. Let's do one more. Woo. And we'll switch to the other side. So if the left leg's forward, right hand comes down, we rotate. And then we'll turn our bodies open to warrior two. And we'll go hand plant, twist. And keep flowing through these two positions here. Whew. Yeah. All right. And so we're going to do a scorpion dog. Where are we? Press back into downward dog. Let's go left foot straight up in the air. And we're going to bend it out to the side. We're just going to hold. And you can draw some circles over here. You can reach that foot further away. Get a nice side stretch in those obliques. Two, one, and we'll switch sides. The scorpion dog. And we're about to do some dancing dog coming up next. <laughs> Get ready to dance, dog. <laughs> yes, Al, we're doing all the doggy positions. <laughs> Or even all of them, we'll lose just a handful. <laughs> so bring this foot, the right foot, if it's up. Whatever one's up, you're gonna drop it down and reach your hand up and over the top. <sighs> all right, guys, we're dancing. This dog is dancing right here. And hold it. So squeezing your glutes, you're keeping those hips high. We're pressing through that supporting arm. And we're about to switch sides coming up. Two, one, and we'll come back to our plank. And we'll pick the other leg straight up in the air. And we'll step it over. And we'll get into our dancing dog over here. We've got a fun sequence coming up next. Two, one, and as the feet together, we're gonna sit into a chair. So we go hips back, reach your hands straight up, and you should be able to see your toes, all right? So your knees shouldn't be so far forward that you can't see them. So hips back, and reach your hands straight up, and we'll hold. All right, now we're gonna, let's do this. We're gonna reach across our right elbow to the left knee, and we're gonna twist. So right elbow to the left knee. I might be mirrored with you guys. So right elbow to the left knee, Two, one, and then we're gonna step the right leg back into a lunge, our twisted lunge here. And we'll hold, you can even press your elbow into that twist. We'll hold for about 15 more seconds here. All right, and we're about to place both hands on the ground by our front foot. Two, one, and we'll get into standing splits where you go hands down and you kick your back foot or your right foot straight up. Standing splits. Let's see if you can drop your chest down low, get into this hamstring stretch, and see if you can get your right foot up higher. And if your other foot is up in the air, that's okay too. Just keep that one up. 
All right, and we're gonna get into this side balance. In two, one, or keep your left hand down. And so you're gonna take your right hand and rotate it up, woo, into the sky. Woo. Can you get it straight up? Ah. Oh. And balance, we're almost there, guys. <laughs> Oh, we're in yoga class. Two, one. And let's go both feet on the ground. Bring your feet together. Squeeze your thighs in. We'll go hands straight up. Hips back here. You should be able to see your toes. And let's go left elbow is going to come across your right knee. And we'll twist into our chair twist. And then you can press and twist your body open. Two, one, and we'll step our left foot back this time into our twisted lunge. We'll hang out in these positions for 30 seconds a piece. All right, so we'll get into that standing splits coming up next in about 10 seconds. Two, one, and come on up. And now reach down to the floor. Left foot goes straight up in the air this time. And get into this calf and hamstring stretch as you lower your chest down and drive your left foot straight up in the air. All right, we're gonna get into our balancing pose next. Two, one, and now keep your right hand down. I like to reach it out to the side just a little bit, and then we'll rotate the left hand. Woo! Oh, oh this is tough on this side. We're balancing. Do your best here. Woo! We got our three-legged chaturanga coming up next two one so here's what we'll do we'll press back into down dog and i want you to drive your left foot straight up in the air and we'll lean forward into a plank and keep that foot hovering and then exhale as you lower to a hover now you can place it down chest up and press back into down dog and this time go right foot straight up in the air and inhale lean forward to plank Let's try this. Keep that right foot hovering off the floor. We're going down. We're going to go for a full minute here. Hover. And then let's see if you can go up dog. Keep that foot up off the ground. Oh, we're doing it, guys. How do we get out of here? <laughs> and rest back. And this time we'll go other leg. Straight up in the air. Let's try it. Yeah. Come forward to plank. Keep it hovering off. Lower down. Up dog. And down dog with that foot straight up. And now we'll switch legs. Woo, we're doing it. Oh, all right. We're gonna go a minute handstand hold, guys. We're starting right now. Find a spot, yeah. You can do freestanding, up against the wall. We're at 50 seconds left now. Ready, begin. So this is just for fun, guys. Headstand, handstand. That's the 30 second marker. We're going for another 30. And now we're gonna get into a plank. And let's go left foot hovering off the floor. But keep your hips down, your abs tight. So crunching those abs, squeezing your glutes. Left foot hovering. 
Whew, the shoulders are a little smoked after that. <laughs> Two, one, and we're gonna open up into a side plank. You can put your foot down or you can go foot up in the air. <laughs> yeah. Try to get that balance right. So keeping those hips up so you can keep that leg up as well. We're gonna switch to the other side. Or right, we'll get back into our regular plank, this time with the other foot up. Two, one, and we'll plank, other foot pulled up off the floor. Whew. Oh yeah, the shoulders will get a rest right after this, guys. Oh. And we'll get into our side plank in 10 seconds. Hmm. Three, two, one, and let's go to the side. Woo! Find that balance. You can put both feet down if you want, or keep that leg hovering. We get a little rest coming up. Right after this, two, one, and bring it down back on the ground. We're gonna do a full minute here, guys. We get into a glute bridge. Let's go hips up. I want you to clasp your hands together under your butt. And now squeeze your shoulder blades together and walk them under you. And we're gonna go one leg up. And keeping those glutes glues, we'll place it down. <laughs> and we'll go other leg up. Glutes glues. Glutes glues. <laughs> and we'll keep, keep alternating. <laughs> Did I say glutes glues? <laughs> and keep going at your own pace. <sighs> That's good. We're getting to that point in the workout. I can't talk anymore. Ooh, this is kind of getting the buns a little bit. Two, one. We got another 30 seconds here. So keep those gleets squeezed. <laughs> it's kind of a cool phrase. <laughs> Two, one, and we'll sit back and let's go windshield wipers. For about five more seconds. And now let's go lean to the left side. You're gonna place your left foot on top of your right knee. And just relax into this stretch. Two, one, and back to our windshield wipers. Whew. Loosen up them hips. This time we're gonna lean our legs to the right side. Take your right foot up, right ankle onto your left knee, and relax. Hmm. Two, one, and roll on over. We'll get into our Spider-Man stretch. So you're here, and you can even extend that Spider-Man if you want. Extend the spider as much as you want to extend it. If you want to go into splits, you can. L, get it. Ooh. And shift your weight left and right. We'll switch sides in two, one, and switch. <clears throat> spider, extended spider, <sighs> splits. The daddy long legs. The daddy long legs. Yeah. Ooh. 
We're going to do a nice long pigeon pose coming up next. Two, one. Let's bring our other leg forward, spin the foot, and we'll sit upright in the pigeon first. And relax into this one as back to back yoga days. I know this one wasn't the most intense workout, but we got a lot of good rotation, a lot of stability work done today. Let's see how we feel tomorrow. Three, two, one, and we're gonna put this pigeon to bed. Lay it down low, and we'll switch. We'll do the other side next. Hmm. So it's very intentional that we get a double kind of mellow workouts because tomorrow it's going to be crazy. But don't miss it. <laughs> don't be scared. Three, two, one, and let's switch. We'll go other. You can shake it out. Bring the other leg forward and we'll do our upright pigeon first. Almost there. We're gonna lay it down in two, one. Lay it down. We get to hang out for 30 seconds right here. Woo! And 15 more seconds to chill before we open this up into the butterfly which is one song that was blocked <laughs> by, yeah, it was blocked. Two, one, and we'll open it up to Butterfly. <laughs> the Mariah Carey playlist, I've been having trouble uploading it because of copyright infringement. So I'll push the, the knees down. And Butterfly song was one of those. Push those knees down, open them hips. And we're gonna send the legs out wide to the side into our pancake. In three, two, one, and pancake it. We'll reach straight forward. Claw your way lower and lower into this stretch. Full 30 seconds here. Two, one, and come on up. And we're gonna go send it over the top to one side. If you can grab your toes, great. If not, just hang out right there. Three. Two, one, and we'll switch sides. Ooh, throw it over the top. And crawl your way through with your other hand if you can. Ha. Hey guys, we're so close. Just two minutes left in this workout. Two, one, and we're gonna tuck one leg back. We'll get into our quad stretch here. So you lean back. Ooh, the quads, they need it. So adjust your body however you need to or want to to get this good stretch. Two, one, we'll kick out that leg and we'll switch it out real quick for the other side. And we'll get right back into that stretch. And we'll get into our snail baby for the grand finale. 
in three, two, one, and we'll roll back. Send the feet up and over. Snail it for 30. Be it for 30. Vertebrae, five vertebrae. And we'll baby it. However you prefer to happy baby it, let that happen right now. Don't fight it. Two, one. <laughs> Upgrade, Upgrade complete. complete. Woo. <sighs> yeah. Let's take it to the wall. We'll stretch out the chest. One hand up. Lean into it. Tension on. Lean all the way in. Open up the chest. Hold for five more seconds. Three, two, one, and drop it low. Drop it, drop it low. Five more seconds here. And three, two, one. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, other side. Lean in, open the chest. Open it way up. So five more seconds. Lean into it. Two, one, and into the squat. We'll go five more seconds. Two, one. Ease off the tension, both hands up. We're diving through the shoulders. And you can shift your hips left and right, your shoulders left and right. We're reaching the chest to the floor. And you can switch your hand position if one hand's on top, put the other one on top. And dive through again. And we'll hold for five. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for Thursday's workout. Tomorrow, we're, we got a really fun workout coming at you. I'll see you guys for Friday's Aloha Friday's workout.